and hi, I want to die. BuzzFeed. Everyone's heard of BuzzFeed. They own a big portion of all the patronizing, shitty content that's out on the internet. I like to think of BuzzFeed as kind of a shitty buffet. You know the food's not gonna be too good, but you still eat it anyways. You still feel like shit after you eat it anyways, so what was really the point? Now there, there's a lot of BuzzFeed content out there, like a shit ton, like a lot. Like a lot. Like too much, please. God, stop. Today, we're gonna focus on BuzzFeed's resident comic artist, Adam Ellis. Now Adam's the creator of those comics that you see all the time on like Twitter or Instagram or shit, you know? The thing about these comics is that they're just fucking boring. They're just relatable, boring, not very creative. You guys, did you see that comic on BuzzFeed? Oh, fucking relatable, dude. Me as fuck, holy shit, boy. Expectation versus reality. Oh God, that is such a good meme. Haha, <laughs> damn, you really get me, Adam. Oh, these comics are so fucking hilarious, dude. God, I gotta show this to my friends. They're gonna love this. Wow, what a great comic that was. Now people have been talking about Adam recently because uh, he's kind of a piece of shit. He tweeted out this golden little thing here. Let me show you. You're getting the salary while better artists are struggling. <laughs> Is that my fault? I earned my spot. Focus on your $5 DeviantArt commissions. Oh, 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 he fucking got you, boy. Except that is, that is a douchebag thing to say. Now, of course, he's getting memed pretty hard for all of this. Uh, that's very evident on Tumblr over here. Like, look at this gem. Look at this beautiful thing. I'm glad he's making comics in there and we're out here. Someone even caught him making the same comic twice here. From 2015 to 2017. This isn't even like, oh, I had the same idea twice. This is blatant copying because the backgrounds are the same. He just put a slight filter. That's exactly the same, dude. He knew this. He tried to parody the Lost comic, right? You've seen it. I'm sure you've seen it. It's a, it's an old internet meme. Nobody told me it was Dota Day. <laughs> wow, so relatable, huh? But look, this comic is so, you can see how lazy he is in this one. Look at that face. The same face, like four times in a row. The same one. The only thing that changes is those big, creepy, disturbing eyes. Adam, you lazy ass boy. On top of that, this guy has a merch store too, where you can buy all the relatable OMG so me stuff. Like uh, a shirt that just says no, just no. That is so, that's literally me, dude. That's, God, man. Nap queen. Oh yes, ah, queen is spelled differently because because I'm an individual. You know, I don't want to spell it the, no, the normal way. The normal way sucks. I like queen. 10% angel, 90% chicken nuggets. Ah, do you like chicken nuggets too? I like chicken nuggets too. How'd you know? I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm bored. Wow, I feel those emotions too, Adam. It's almost like we're both the same species and capable of emotions. That's insane. I didn't know you felt that too. That's amazing. I gotta buy some of these, man. Also, th this is just my opinion, but I think his com- I really- I do not like his art style at all. It just looks creepy. Like, the eyes are too big. They're just so, like, they feel distorted somehow. Like, they're just so huge, you know? I'll give him this though, he is a cutie. God damn, Adam, how you doing? That's my little PSA on Adam Ellis. Uh, do you like him? Do you like his comics? I fucking hope not, but if you do, please let me know. Thanks for watching, um... That's it. Get out. Leave. Go. Get-